Top 10 Netflix Romantic Movies of 2021 Netflix released some of the best original movies in 2021. Hey guys, welcome back to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we will tell you all about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because in today's video, we are going to list down the top 10 Netflix romantic movies of 2021. So let's get started. Number 10, based on Jojo Moya's 2012 novel of the same name, The Last Letter from Your Lover is a 2021 British romantic drama film directed by Augustine Frizzle. Set in two distinct time periods, the romantic drama follows the lives of two women, Jennifer Sterling and Ellie Howard. In the movie, a pair of interwoven stories set in the present and the past follows Ellie Hawar, an ambitious journalist who discovers a trove of secret love letters from 1965 and becomes determined to solve the mystery of the forbidden affair at their center. As she uncovers the story behind Jennifer Sterling, the wife of a wealthy industrialist, and Anthony O'Hare, the financial journalist assigned to cover him, Ellie's own love story unfolds with the assistance of an earnest, endearing activist who helps her track down more letters. Number 9. One of the many new Christmas movies on Netflix in 2021, Love Hard, stars Nina Dubrev as a single woman who finds herself getting catfished during the holiday season. The romantic comedy was sweeter than a candy cane and is now an annual Christmas must-watch. Hopeless romantic but eternally single LA journalist Natalie thinks things are beginning to look up when she swipes right on a dreamy guy from the East Coast, Tad. Taking a leap of faith, she jumps on a flight to surprise her crush for the holidays, only to discover that she's been catfished by Tag's childhood friend, who is equally unlucky in love, Josh. This lighthearted romantic comedy chronicles her attempt to reel in love. Number 8. Along with The Kissing Booth 3, Netflix brought its most popular teen rom-com franchise to all the boys to a close with the third and final film. Fans got everything they wanted with the delightful final entry, and there will be more to love in the upcoming spin-off series XO Kitty. Confident and eyeing a future filled with romance, college, and writing success, Laura Jean starts the movie on a hopeful note. Senior year of high school takes center stage as Laura Jean returns from a family trip to Korea and considers her college plans, with and without Peter. Her dreams never seem closer, but she's about to learn one of life's tougher lessons. The future doesn't always go according to plan. Number 7. The Spanish romantic comedy Sounds Like Love was probably one of the more underrated romantic movies on Netflix in 2021, but it's no less deserving of the spotlight. A charming love story, a handsome male lead, and a humorous take on modern romance. What's not to love? The movies tell the story of a woman named Maka, who makes the most of life and strives to be happy. However, Maka's talent is being wasted working as an assistant for an oppressive and terrifying fashion influencer, and she spends her time with guys with whom she never manages to establish an emotional bond. Together with Jemina, and Andrea, her two unique and lovable friends, who are always ready to do whatever it takes to make their problems not seem so bad. Maka has managed to make Madrid a city where everything is possible, everything seems to be going well until he who must not be named comes back into her life. Leo, the love and biggest mistake of her life, the man who tore her heart apart, obliterated her self-esteem and her faith in men, comes back into her life to turn everything upside down. Number 6. With a thought-provoking concept brought to humorous life by a pair of well-matched leads, I'm Your Man is an AI rom-com whose intelligence is anything but artificial. It is a 2021 German science fiction romance film written and directed by Maria Schrader and has earned a score of 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. The movie revolves around a girl named Alma who, in order to obtain funds for her research, is persuaded to participate in an extraordinary study. For three weeks, she is required to live with Tom, a humanoid robot designed to be the perfect life partner for her, tailored to her character and needs. I'm Your Man is a playful romance about relationships, love, and what it means to be human in the modern age. Number 5. Led by moving performances from Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci, Supernova is a heartbreaking look at the emotional toll that comes with accepting mortality. It is a 2020 British romantic drama film written and directed by Harry McQueen with a score of 89% on Rotten Tomatoes. The movie follows a gay couple, one a musician, the other a novelist, who embarks on a road trip. 
The couple, named Sam and Tusker, who are partners of 20 years, are traveling across England in their old RV, visiting friends, family, and places from their past. Since Tusker was diagnosed with early onset dementia two years ago, their time together is the most important thing they have. Number four, a gender swapping remake of the 1999 film She's All That, a 2021 American teen romantic comedy film. He's All That is directed by Mark Waters. Starring Addison Rae, it is also a modern adaptation of George Bernard Shaw's 1913 play Peg Million and George Cucker's 1964 film My Fair Lady. In this reimagining of the 1999's She's All That, teen social media influencer Pajet's humiliating on-camera breakup goes viral, leading her to make a risky bet to save her reputation. She swears she can turn scruffy, anti-social Cameron into a prom king material, but things get complicated when she finds herself falling for him in real life. Number three, a 2021 American coming-of-age romance drama film, Licorice Pizza, is written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. The movie finds Paul Thomas Anderson shifting into a surprisingly comfortable gear and getting potentially star-making performances out of his fresh-faced leads. Licorice Pizza is the story of Alana Kane and Gary Valentine growing up, running around, and falling in love in the San Fernando Valley in 1973. While their ever-evolving relationship provides the framework for the film, Licorice Pizza is really about this young woman's journey of self-discovery, trying out different jobs and clothes, different priorities and personalities, and seeing what fits. Number two, tough but stirring. Little Fish uses one couple's pandemic love story to illustrate the strength of human connection in trying times. Based on the 2011 short story of the same name by Aja Gable, it is a 2021 American science fiction romantic drama film directed by Chad Harrington. Starring Olivia Cook, Jack O'Connell, Soko, and Roel Castillo, the film opens in the midst of a global epidemic. Neuroinflammatory affliction a severe and rapid Alzheimer's-like condition in which people's memories disappear. Couple Jude Williams and Emma Ryerson are grappling with the realities of NIA, interspread with glimpses of the past as the two meet and the relationship blooms. But as NIA's grip on society tightens, blurring the lines between the past and the present, it becomes more and more difficult to know what's true and what's false. Number one, partly based on the 1982 novel, Dance on My Grave, by Aidan Chambers, Summer of 85, is a 2020 French-Belgium drama film written and directed by Francois Ozen. What do you dream of when you're 16 years old and in a seaside resort in Normandy in the 1980s? A best friend? A lifelong team packed, scooting off on an adventure on a boat or a motorbike, living life at breakneck speed? No, you dream of death, because you can't get a bigger kick than dying. And that's why you save it till the very end, the summer holidays are just beginning, and this story recounts how Alexis grew into himself. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.